Hello there fellow students, my name is Mr. James, and you are probably watching this because you are eager to learn about SAD, or you are experiencing a SAD and want some advice. Not to worry, I will give you all the information you need, as well as some things you can do to treat SAD. First and foremost, SAD is the abbreviated form for Social Anxiety Disorder, which is a disorder which causes extreme fear in social situations and settings. This can prevent the victim from properly communicating with people and can be a massive pain to deal with in an everyday life. It is not exactly known what causes SAD to appear in one's life, but it can be formed from a contribution of the environment on which the victim grew up in. If, for example, you are harassed or bullied at school and have conflict at home, then you might have a chance of obtaining SAD because of the negative nature that is surrounding you. SAD can be identified easily, as when a person with the disorder starts to interact with people they may have symptoms such as nausea, shaking, speaking difficulty, dizziness, and excessive sweating. But SAD can also affect the mental state of someone, making them constantly worry about social situations or worried about school because people will judge them. Now, if you are experiencing SAD, there are ways that can make you feel better. There are two main methods you can try to suppress the effects of SAD. Note that these are all based on therapy. Behavioral therapy consists of learning to control the anxiety through breathing and relaxation. It also teaches you to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. Exposure therapy is where you expose yourself to social interaction, to embrace it, not to stay away from it. Other minor tasks you can do are to avoid foods or drinks with caffeine, as the stimulants may increase anxiety. And make sure to get at least 8 hours of sleep, as lack of sleep can also increase anxiety and make symptoms worse. If things are getting out of hand for you, I suggest you make a private appointment with a GP arranged with someone you trust. I hope all this information managed to give you viewers what social anxiety disorder is and for those who are suffering, a way to solve it.